Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I've hopped on and done a review, but I'm finally feeling like getting on camera. It's been kind of a roller coaster of emotions during social isolation, and some days I feel motivated, other days I really don't. So I had like a week of not wanting to do anything, um, but I am excited. There are new makeup releases coming out that are really sparking my interest, and one of them I want to share with you guys today. So today we're going to be talking about the glittery balms from Huda Beauty. They are called the Diamond Hydrating Lip Balms, and I'm sure if you guys have seen them, then you're equally as curious to see how they look on the lips and what they're actually like. So I did get them in PR, this little package behind me is shaped like a diamond it's super cute but I am always going to give you guys my honest opinion when it comes to any products whether I get them for free or I buy them and at first I wasn't even gonna make a video about them because I thought okay they're just gonna be sheer glittery kind of lip balms and then I decided to look at the reviews on Sephora and the reviews are not good. So I'm gonna read some of the reviews for you guys and I'm gonna try them so that if they are bad, you guys can save your money. If they're good, you can pick them up if you're interested. So if you guys wanna hear more, then just keep on watching. So I have my laptop in front of me and I'm on the Sephora website and it looks like for whatever reason, there's only three of these shades on the Sephora site. I don't know if the other ones are just available on Huda Beauty, but there are six shades that I'm gonna share with you guys today that were sent to me. They are $25 a piece, and so far the review is three stars on Sephora. So this review says, smelly component. I wanted to love this so much. Typically I'm obsessed with Huda's products, but I can't get over the scent coming off of the plastic component that the balm is housed in. Another one says, this lip balm has a terrible and overwhelming smell. It's kind of like burnt plastic or chemicals. Another one says, this is a gimmicky take on a lip balm. I don't want glitters in a lip balm. It feels good at first, but then I feel like I need to reapply every 30 minutes. There are some five-star reviews. This one says, this balm is so beautiful and precious. It feels amazing on the lips. They feel soft. And now I want it in all the colors. It's buttery, but lightweight, and I love it. So the reviews are very hit and miss. So yeah, the goal of my video today is to tell you guys if they smell or not and if they show up on the lips, if the glitter rubs off, what is the deal with the glitter? So let's get into this little package. So the PR package is adorable. It's a diamond and it holds all of the lip products. These are definitely one of those products that you know is going to look amazing in photos. You also know it's gonna look great on your vanity, but I wanna know if they're practical, like if I'm actually gonna get use out of this if I put it in my purse. No matter what way you spin it, $25 is not cheap for a lip balm. Like when I think lip balm, I think like chapstick or Vaseline or something from the drugstore that's like $5.99. You repurchase it all the time. You go through it really fast. I don't think $25, but these are very unique. So the one I'm grabbing is Seductress. The packaging is really cute. It's like semi-clear and it's iridescent. And then here is what the actual lipstick looks like. As you can see, it's coated in glitter. And also it is the same kind of point as their Power Bullet lipstick. So it has the same applicator. Here it is spun all the way up. So I mean, if you guys know me, you know it's gonna hurt my soul to use this because it's so pretty. Like it's infinitely adorable if you're just talking about packaging and what it looks like in photos and on your vanity or whatever. Do you guys remember when it was a trend to like take your MAC lipstick and like dip it in glitter and take pictures of it? That's what this reminds me of, except I'm hoping it's an actual practical product. And I have seen it on the Huda Beauty Instagram worn over lip liner and it looked really beautiful. So today I have lip liner on. I don't know if it's gonna stay on between swatches, but I'm hoping that it looks good with lip liner. The next one I'm gonna show you is Negligee, and this is more of like a topaz. This is really beautiful. It's kind of like topaz champagne. I don't even know how to describe it. Then we have Femme Fatale. This is like a deep purple. A deep purple with like lilac glitters. Then we have Dirty Thoughts. This is like a lilac. So a lighter purple with like iridescent shimmer on it. Then we have Lace Panty. Love that name. This is like a magenta. It's kind of like a hot pink with a little bit of a purple vibe. And then lastly is Censored, and I think this is a really interesting shade. It's like a medium tone purple. Okay, moment of truth with Seductress. Giving it a little sniff. 
I don't smell anything bad yet. All right, it feels really buttery. Almost no glitter is going onto my lips. The glitter completely came off of the balm and it's just a sheer balm. Like this would be like a chapstick or something. Still personally not getting a weird scent. So I honestly would say this one is clear because I don't see anything on my lips. I'm gonna completely wipe off my lip liner and see if I apply it over just my lips if it looks any different. I don't know what I was expecting. I kind of expected it to be glittery or intense. My lips are chapped. So that's just something I have to deal with. So going in with nothing on my lips. Yeah, this is clear. So I feel no grittiness from the glitter coming off onto my lips. There's like a few particles coming onto my lips, but nothing major. Do I smell the plasticky smell? No, but I do wish that it had some kind of scent like coconut or mango or something fun. Um, so these are, I'm guessing, fragrance free or scent free. It is a very smooth bomb. I'm going to give it that. Uh, but the color in this one meant nothing. There's really no color in Seductress, at least on me. The glitter doesn't want to come off with the wipe either. So I'm going to swatch Seductress on my hand so you guys can see that there really is no color. So it's on the back of my hand. You really can't see anything. This one is sheer. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Censored. Now it does have a little wash of the glitter on the face of the lipstick, but once that's gone, it's gone. This one has a purple tint, but barely. This reminds me, do you guys remember baby lips in all the different colors? That's what these remind me of. Uh, this one does have a purple tint. You can see the purple and it has that iridescent purple glitter. But like I said, once the glitter is gone off this tube, it's gone. It's just tinted. So this is censored. So it's in the middle of my hand. Just a very light wash of purple. Next up is Negligé, the really pretty, unique color. This one has a glitter on it that almost has a green tint to it, but it's like a topaz color. So you get that initial wash of glitter and then it just wipes away. Okay, so I think I would say the tint of this one is almost a nude, like a grayish nude kind of color. Again, very light tint and the glitter does go away. So let me swatch this one. There it is, just a little wash of nude. Still not getting any bad smells personally. Next up, we have Femme Fatale. This is the deepest color out of the line. It's a deep purple with that lilac glitter. The glitter doesn't feel gritty. I feel like that's something that you guys would be curious about. Um, I feel so bad ruining these because they really are visually appealing. But this one, again, is just a purple tint. Maybe a little bit deeper than the last one, but really not too different. Here is Femme Fatale. Next up is Dirty Thoughts, the light lilac purple. This glitter also has iridescent, like almost green glitter. I think this one is another almost clear so it's not really showing up too much on me. Um, more glitter did come off of this one though. There it is swatched. It does seem to have kind of an iridescent pearl to it. And then last up we have Lace Panty. So I'm gonna pop this one on. It does have a magenta glitter to it. So here is Lace Panty. This one is a pink with a magenta glitter over top, but it's also very sheer. So it's going to be pretty much clear. There it is swatched. So it does look pretty much clear on my hand. So here's an example of what they look like once you use them. They are no longer photo worthy, in my opinion, once they've been used. Um, but it is a really fun concept. But is it worth $25? Let me know.
So yeah, I mean, I've pretty much come to the conclusion that A, I didn't smell the smell that was on the Sephora reviews, so I feel like maybe I'm lucky, I don't know. I guess when you smell in the cap, you can kind of smell plastic, but you're smelling a plastic cap. I don't really smell anything when I'm applying it to the lips and that's what I care about, but I do wish that they were scented. I wish that they had some kind of flavor to them to make them a little more appealing to carry with you. But ultimately, the visual appeal goes away after one use. Um, I think that the photography ability of them goes away, so that's a little unfortunate uh, if you are buying it for that reason. And is there really anyone who's going to buy them and never use them? I don't know. It depends. I mean, if you are a blogger or an Instagrammer or something and you want it to be in photos like flat lays and stuff like that, I could see somebody maybe wanting them for that reason. Uh, but I'm a little sad because I used them all, so now I can't do that. <laughs> Are they pretty? Absolutely. Is it a necessity? No. Could it be better? Yes. I think if it had a nice coconut, like I said, or mango, I feel like those are really appealing to me. Even if it had a mint, like any kind of scent to it, I think I would have liked to carry it around and use it. Um, I'm going to try to get my use out of them, but is it something that I would reach for over a drugstore product? Probably not. But yeah, I hope that this video helped you guys out if you were curious about these. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy. I'm just being honest with you. So yeah, if you guys pick these up, then let me know what you're thinking of them down in the comments. But if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content. And I will be back very soon with another video. Bye guys.